Well, he's hit that one well through the offside field. That'll go for four. That's well played by Spearman. Smashed that one right off the meat of the bat. Right into the gap as well. Good shot. Down the wicket, he goes, at six, that's a magnificent shot, all the way into the crowd, watch that white ball fly, have a look at the sixes amongst the crowd, that's gone back 20 rows. It's a good looking shot, chase for Thorpe, that's beaten him, four runs. It's a lovely shot through the offside. Craig White's chasing, but he won't get anywhere near it. That's beaten him to the fence by 20 metres. It's a lovely shot. Over square leg, four runs, too short from Goff. That's through the offside for four. Illingworth can't stop the stem of runs. For the wicket. He's whacked that one, that could be six, it's over the top again, you beauty, a lovely straight hit down the ground, Ian Smith's out of his seat, lovely shot. Well, that's brilliant stuff, Tony, the New Zealanders have really set this World Cup alight on the very first morning, a little touch of the gloves between the batsmen, Astor, he really does like to use the feet, and he's come down to Goff and said, I'm after you, and he really has got hold of him, and as you say, that's gone four or five rows back, probably not a perfect shot in the eyes of Jeffrey Boycott, but very effective. Good for New Zealand, that's for sure. This is a good bat he's got too, right off the meat of the bat it went, and it didn't come down until it had gone way over the boundary. Goff taking some stick here. New Zealand are coming alive, and a misfield, almost a single. They've moved on to 70 for one. It's well pitched up. You don't pitch him up to him. He smashed that one away. This is a quick outfield. Atherton won't get there. It's four. New Zealand are playing beautifully, they've settled into this World Cup and they're on their way. Well, as he's chasing this Mike Atherton, he's probably thinking, yes, Graham Thorpe, you let me down with those two drop catches. Nathan Astor was one of them, that was his 50. And what a magnificent way to bring it up. The timing is superb. Slowish pitch. Yeah. Nicely played by Astor once again. Oh, he's dived over the top of it. And that'll go out to the fence for four. There it is, the first century of the World Cup for Nathan Astor. Well, I'm glad he's got his hundred because he thoroughly deserved it. He played sensibly, competently. He played with a mature head on his shoulders. Outrageous shots, he well fought out his innings. Big slice of luck early on to get dropped, but as I say, that happens usually to most batsmen who make 100. At some stage, you get dropped somewhere, get a real slice of luck, but he took it, and he really did play with a mature head on his shoulders. That's still charging, and he's gone. So another New Zealander goes, and Astle's long innings is over and he's gone for 101 it's now 204 for five well you could say that was an easy ball to hit it tempted yorker became a low full toss and in trying to belt it hard for the boundary he hold out to graham hick at mid wicket right on the edge of the circle this went straight into his hands a very easy simple catch and they're just not making headway in these last few overs uh, new zealand Splendid 100. 204 for five. 